What will the cryptocurrency market look like in 2027? In about five years. Here are some really interesting predictions. And stay all the way through the end because I'm going to tell you my sixth prediction. And it's really, really wild and bold. I promise. Let's go take a look. All right. Number one. The metaverse will not rise. Guys, I believe that the metaverse is going to have a hard time too. So what this person is saying that basically the metaverse is going to not push as high as it could because right now Meta, which was formerly called Facebook, is an institution that's developing it. And I'll tell you what I believe. And I, you know, we don't even have to go too far into it. Whenever an institution creates something, they have oversight and control over the whole thing. And crypto is all about open source and democracy and respect for people's privacy and desires and goals. Meta is not going to create a metaverse just for you to have fun in it and go do fun stuff. They're going to put a bunch of ads. They're going to put, just think about it. Think about follow the money, right? They're just they're just gonna mess it up. So even, you know, Vitalik Buterin, which is one of the creators of Ethereum, says the metaverse is going to happen, but I don't think any of the existing corporate attempts to intentionally create the metaverse are going anywhere. And it's really just this. I believe in it, too, um, because when institutions start creating something and try to push it on people and try to put it on like their face, it's like, I don't I don't want it because you're trying to sell it to me versus a community. You know, like Dogecoin, the, the owner, the creators of Dogecoin, they didn't sell it to you. They didn't put it on your face. They created it, have fun with it, and it, it, it became a community. It became an ecosystem on its own. So the metaverse needs to become an ecosystem, a sustainable, fun ecosystem where we want to go there, where it's cool to go there, where it's not even about money and ads and all of these other things because it's just going to be another shitty kind of Facebook. I, I'm sorry I used that word, but we don't want that. All right. So it's got to be fun. It's got to be great. And it's got to be created within the values of crypto, within, within the va values of blockchain, open source, right? Um, and speed, um, uh, privacy, respect, democracy, right? All of those things. Number two, wallets will become super apps. I believe so. I believe so. You guys probably know you have like Apple Pay on your phone and Apple Pay is technically a wallet that's tied into your account and you can sell and buy things with it. That's already a wallet, but it doesn't do much for you. It's tied into the traditional system. It's just really on your phone, right? So um, Cash App is kind of like that. Venmo is kind of like that. Zelle is kind of like that. But all of them are being controlled by institutions, guys. PayPal is kind of like that. They take a cut. We don't want the middleman. So these wallets that are going to be coming up, according to the person that wrote this, are going to have apps on top of them. And eventually, they'll, they'll make you... They'll allow you to sell and buy. It will be like an Amazon. Your own Amazon account. Tied into your wallet. Tied into your... You wouldn't even need a bank. Why? You have your bank on your own app. Right? It's just got to be very secure. But they're going to become super apps. Super, super apps. You can buy things. You can watch things. You can do things. It's going to be superb. Amazing. Number three. Bitcoin will become a unit of account on par with the US dollar and euro. Yeah, I'm already thinking about things in terms of sats, which is the satoshis, which is the longest, the, the smallest uh, division of a Bitcoin, which is 0 0.000001, right? That's a satoshi. So that's going to happen. And, and, and it's almost like when I came to the United States, like I'm from the Dominican Republic where we use the metric system. Now I learned the imperial system. I'm an architect, so that's what we use. So... Um, and I think differently because of that. So when Bitcoin, which it is right now, reaches that level, and I don't know if it's going to be in five years, but it is reaching that level, it will become comparable. And we're just going to be thinking about things like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy that for 50 sats. I'm going to buy that for 1,000 sats, right? Which is equivalent of $10 or $15 or $30, right? So you're going to be able to know that very quickly, right? It's going to become very intuitive, all right? Number four. I really like this one. At least half of the top 50 currencies will see their standing decline. I'm going to go a little bolder than that. We have like 15,000 coins out there, guys, that do nothing. 
They literally do nothing. A lot of them. They are going to disappear. Okay? So going along with that, not only just the top 50, I'm saying the 15,000 of them, they're going to, a lot of them are they're going to disappear. If they don't have any use, if they don't have any case uh, scenario, case study in which they are making a better world, resolving a problem that we have, they're not going to be useful. They're not going to be doing much, right? So watch my other video where I talk about Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, and the positioning. Go through it. You're going to see it. He says that Ethereum Classic is one of those coins that, more, that will likely probably disappear. I don't think so. Hey, Ethereum Classic is one of my babies. We don't talk about Ethereum Classic. We don't talk about Bruno, right? So don't talk about Ethereum Classic. I think it's one of the good ones because once Ethereum moves all the way into the merge, a lot of great things are going to happen. I'm going to tie that video here so that you can watch it and enjoy it. So, and I do believe so. I do believe that a lot of coins are going to just go down, down, baby. Number five. The crypto market will fragment along geographic lines. Duh. You know, the big guys want power. Power, it's all they care about. Power is the reason why we have Russia and Ukraine having some difficulties. Power is the reason why Taiwan and uh, China are having some difficulties, to say the least. Power is the reason why every war and every major discussion happens, I mean, argument. It's power. So they're going to regulate it and are going to actually segregate it themselves. In fact, it's already happening in New York, right here within the United States. We're talking about a state from states are actually breaking the geographic lines of what crypto can be. New York does not want any proof of work mining. Too bad. You know who's going to take it? Texas. Texas is going to take it. <laughs> so Texas is kind of becoming one of the Bitcoin capitals. Guess another place, Miami. You know where the Bitcoin conference happens? Miami. So, so there's places that will be very friendly to it and there's places that will not be friendly. And that brings me to my number six, which is not even on this list. The next presidential candidate. And senators and Democrats, representatives, the Republicans, any of them, whoever, whoever, I'm not picking losers and winners here, I'm just telling you the attributes they must have, has to be pro-crypto in order to win. You heard it here first. If the next candidates are run for office, presidency, vice presidency, anything, are not pro-Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto, they are going to lose. One, I'm not voting for them. I'm not voting for them. If they're not supporting something like this, I'm not voting for that person, whoever that is, or persons, right? Or that whole party, right? So that's a bold one because that's the future. If we want to be one of the biggest, well, we are already one of the, the biggest power in the United States, but but we're, we're, we're trickling down right now. We're losing a little bit right now, a little bit. So we're losing a lot, actually. So this is a sector we most empower people and own and keep technology within and whoever runs for office has to understand that so that was it for today that one for tuna for tuna flow a licensed architect that happens to invest in crypto i hope you enjoy these predictions they're pretty wild i can actually come up with wilder than that a lot wilder than that but hey enjoy bye